Hello, and welcome to the first of many quick informational resource videos from New Jersey's Cannabis Regulatory Commission's Office of Diversity and Inclusion. My name is Wesley McWhite, and I am the Director of the Office of Diversity and Inclusion. In this video, I'm going to walk you through completing and submitting your social equity application. Social equity businesses, diversely owned businesses, economically disadvantaged areas and impact zone businesses are being prioritized in the licensure process, meaning they are reviewed before other applicants, regardless of when they apply, which is why we refer to them as priority applications. Priority applications increase opportunities in the cannabis industry for people from designated target communities for people with past cannabis convictions, expunged or not, and for minorities, women, and disabled veterans. Here are the qualifying requirements you must meet to priority to qualify as prior, a priority review designation. Social equity businesses are owned by people who live in an economically disadvantaged area of the state or who have convictions for cannabis-related offenses expunged or not. Diversely owned businesses, separate from social equity businesses, are minority-owned, women-owned, or disabled veteran-owned, and certified as such by the New Jersey Department of Treasury. Impact zone businesses are located in an impact zone, owned by people from an impact zone, or employing residents of impact zones. If you're applying for a cannabis business license or even thinking about applying, you should determine if you qualify as a priority applicant first. Please visit our website uh, at www.nj.gov cannabis. And at the top of the page, you will find priority recreational business license applications tab. After you click through, you will find this page. At the top of the page, you will find those same priority review designation des, uh, definitions, and off to the side, you will find where the economically disadvantaged area and impact zones are in our state, according to either zip code or municipality. If you determine you qualify as one of the priority designations, some things you should not forget. A signed and notarized social equity attestation form. Proof of address within an economically disadvantaged area within five of the last 10 years. Proof of cannabis related convictions. State certification for diversely owned business. Here's where you can find our social equity attestation form. Right on our website, you are going to click through to cannabis businesses at the top. And on our recreational cannabis business page, you're going to go over to documents and forms and click on certification for attestation form. And here it is, the attestation for social equity business applicant. This is your very first page. And on the first page, you will find one of two options for social equity designation. The first is living in an economically disadvantaged area. If you qualify as such, you are going to check off on this box on the first page. More than 50% of the ownership interest of the licensed applicant or license holder is held by one or more persons that demonstrate one of the following criteria. One or more persons that demonstrate one of the following criteria. At the time an initial applicant submitted has lived in an economically disadvantaged area for five of the preceding 10 years and meets a certain income threshold. And to prove that you must provide preceding years applicable tax return. On the second page, if more than 50% ownership interest of the license applicant or license holder is held by one or more persons who have been adjudicated delinquent for or convicted of, whether expunged or not, 
in this state, another state, or the federal government, at least two marijuana-related disorderly persons offenses, or at least one marijuana-related indictable offense. On this second page, you're going to sign. The name of the cannabis business applicant is going to sign. Name of primary contact making the attestation and signature of the owner making attestation. And off to your right, or to your left rather, you will get that notarized as the area where you get that notarized. But please don't forget there is a third and fourth page with list, which list out the documents that you can submit to prove your social equity designation during the application process. The first page is all about economically disadvantaged area documents or documents that prove that you live in an economically disadvantaged area. So utility bill, water, sewer, energy, correspondence from the Internal Revenue Service, the IRS, or New Jersey Division of Taxation, federal, state, or local government correspondence, signed lease agreement that includes the name of the owner, applicant, address, and years, mortgage or property deed, paycheck stubs that include the name of the owner applicant and state or federal issued ID cards. And on the fourth page are the documents that you would submit to prove that you've had or have uh, cannabis convictions. As you go through the application platform, uh, read carefully. All the questions that relate to your qualifications as a priority applicant. Here in this screen grab of the application portal and the specific priority review questions are the specific priority review questions. If you do not qualify or wish to apply for a, spe uh, for a specific priority designation, do not click yes. Clicking yes will trigger the cure process if the documents to prove your priority designation are not present. And with also within the application portal under the documents tab, this is where you would submit all of the corresponding documents. The application cure process. As a part of our social equity framework and new application process for adult use licensure, we have established an application cure process. If there are deficiencies in the application, instead of your application being rejected, we simply return it to you so you can address those deficiencies. With a return of your application, you will be emailed a cure letter that explicitly lays out which deficiency or deficiencies your application has. And so here are some common reasons for priority cure letters. One is incomplete or missing forms, no attestation form, missing signatures or forms just not being notarized, insufficient proof of residency, no proof of cannabis convictions or expungement, missing tax returns, wrong priority designation selection, missing uh, identification, or the majority owner is not the qualifying priority designation individual. Here is a sample copy of what a cure letter looks like. Cure letters are sent to the primary contact that the applicant indicated in the application portal. So with the application cure letter, you it will be dated with the date that it is sent to you. It will have your applicant ID and it will be addressed to the primary contact. The information here will provide really everything that I just told you. But here, right here in the middle, is where you will find what deficiencies your application is missing. And here's a short explanation in this letter as well saying that your application was rejected back to you because we needed to return or we need to return the application to you and open the portal for you to upload the right documentations or change certain answers that fit the right priority. 
as always, your first stop for any and all questions is our website at nj.gov slash cannabis. For further questions about priority review, designations, or any and all concerns about diversity and inclusion, I can be reached at ODI, which stands for the Office of Diversity and Inclusion, at crc.nj.gov. If you have questions about licensing, you can, be, you can email crc.licensing at crc.nj.gov. If you experience technical issues with the licensing platform, like logging in, creating an account, account verification, moving through the system, or notifications of completed application submissions, you can go straight to this website here for licensing help questions or you can contact the application system tech support via phone number at 609-913-2790. Thank you so much.